Hello, this is Shane Gibson with Rackin, and this is a very short video on how to use the shell stage to create a very fast stage task and template that you can add into a workflow. We're going to use the CentOS 7 install workflow as an example, and the goal is to be able to create a quick uh, task and template that is executed during the installation post-install phase to add something to the final installed OS. So first we're going to go to the stages setting and we're going to create a new stage, the shell stage, and we're going to say tar install. Uh, we're going to change our shebang to usher bin emv bash and then we're going to do a curl minus o temp tar file dot tar and then we're going to use the uh, Golang uh, templating for provisioner URL, which will expand to the HTTP file server path. And we're going to assume that we stage the tar file.tar in the file subdirectory of the TFTP boot directory structure on disk. And we're going to call it, uh, presume it's called tar file tar there as well. So this will essentially uh, get us a tar file.tar into the temp directory, and then we can do tar minus execute at tar file.tar. Whatever you want to do, presumably if you have a script carried inside that payload, you might want to execute it. It doesn't matter. This is just a, a quick, simple example. So when we create that, we're going to see that we have the tar file. I've got to show the file. And somewhere st tar install so we have this new stage that was created uh, called tar install and if we follow it through we can see the stage is created and it has this task that was created for us automatically called tar install we go to tar install and we see template zero that was auto created for us with our shell script so that's it that creates a stage task and template uh, now to use it we're going to go to the workflows and i had uh, I've done this previously, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. But uh, now what we're going to do is take the CentOS base. We're going to clone this. We're just going to leave it as CentOS base as a clone name. That's fine. And then we're going to search for our tar install stage, select that, add it. And very importantly, you want to move this tar install stage so it sits between the CentOS 7 install and the finished install stage. Between these two stages, we're in the uh, post uh, section of the Kickstart uh, installation process, or they call that Anaconda, the CentOS. And we're operating against the Truded root file system environment of what would become the installed operating system. So, slash temp uh, tar file dot tar would be in the temp directory, presumably uh, uh, uninstalled reboot. Temp gets cleaned out, so it's not going to be there. In this case, we're going to extract theoretical theoretical tar file or something. But that's pretty much it. We've just added this uh, in between the CentOS 7 install and the finish install. Note the runner service uh, sets up the startup scripts to be able to inject the agent or the runner in the installed OS. So we'll have a lifecycle control and management within the install. And after that, we're done. So now this CentOS base. Uh, Clone contains the updated uh, stage that we've created to the shell script helper. That's it. Hopefully this was uh, this little training video was instructional. Let us know at rackin.com. Love to hear your thoughts and comments or check in with us on Slack and the community. Thank you very much.